Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to manage your orders in WooCommerce WordPress. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your WordPress dashboard and from there guys, you can just click on here, plugins, add new and simply just search for WooCommerce plugin. So let's wait, here type WooCommerce, type enter and here we go. Now, all we need you to do, guys, is simply click on Install Now button that will appear over here. Then, when it's done, click on Activate. Now, go to Install Plugins and go to Active and search for your plugin. Here it is, WooCommerce. If that's the case for you, that means that you are all good and still up for the next setup. If not, go to Inactive, then search for WooCommerce and activate it. And of course, if there's any updates, just update it. Then all I need you to do is simply refresh the page and you will notice that you have five extra se like menu sections in your main menu. So now guys, what I need you to do is go to WooCommerce. Here you will find your orders. So simply here you can guys manage your orders. So if there is any order that is completed, you can just delete it for example like that. So here for example, you can move it to trash. Here this is pending payments, so you can like keep it in here. You can create another order if you had like an order from another like uh, another way beside your website. So someone is actually like a Command something from you from your phone or something like that you can actually create this order by your own hand You can just here go to the date created here the status if it's pending on hold completed cancelled or refunded Here the customer name billing and the shipping address Here's some order notes You can keep it private or note to customer here you can add the order action So we can email invoice with a new order and generate download permission you can add some custom fields as you can see here and so go on. So yeah guys, that's how you can manage your orders in WooCommerce. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial.